Hello everyone! Welcome to Live Work in English with Olga. And today we continue our English practice lessons with my beautiful friend Fatma. Hi! Hi. Everyone, so as you know, uh, for the English practice I invite my friends, my uh, co-workers, colleagues, uh, the people that I know from all over the world that I meet for them to practice their English and practicing for you guys so you can develop your skills with us together and have some fun. And so usually for my videos, uh, my guests choose the songs that they like, the movies that they like, and um, we are working on our listening, writing, reading, and most importantly, the speaking skills. So today, Fatma has uh, chosen a beautiful movie. <laughs> the movie is uh, beautifully done. Actually, it's a remake. Bradley Cooper, he's um, not only the actor, he is the producer and filmmaker, and actually it was his debut. Wow. He made this movie. Yeah. Wow. All the songs that are in the movie, they created together with Lady Gaga. Wow. So he was writing this Tell me this something, song. boy. <laughs> Very nice, it's yeah. touching my, my heart. We're far from the shallow now. The link for the uh, movie will be under the video. You can. Um, uh, go for it and watch it with subtitles or without. Up to you. Everyone loved it, including the critics, and I you believe you will love it as well. <laughs> Fatma, you are my first Saudi Arabian guest. All right, we are in Saudi Arabia, just for those who don't know. When Saudi opened its doors, how it happened that, you know, I know that it happened in 2019, yeah? Yes, in 2019, 2018. 2018. For me, I... Um, reception. Can I say reception? My friends, my foreigner friends. Okay, except, um, yeah? Yeah, except, yeah, uh, I invite them to invited, my Invited, yeah, okay. I, uh, before I was... Uh, I have... No, I had. Mm. Just don't I, correct uh, yourself. I had mm -hmm. a lot of foreigner friends. Um, they were working uh, before in Saudi Arabia, then they left okay. to their homes. Then, when the Saudi opens, they came. I'm from the north of Saudi Arabia. All right. Uh, my hometown name Isha, and I take all my friends in a tour in my hometown and all the north of Saudi Arabia. I admire our culture. Um, I like to show it to, to my share family. your culture with uh, all the yes. people, of course. Who opened Saudi Arabia? Who is the king of uh... um, King Salman and uh, with his um, crown? Okay, with his, his son, uh, son. son um, Mohammed bin Salman M. Yes. Okay. Guys, you are welcome to come as tourists or as workers if you'd like to, to visit this country. It has a lot of historical ancient places. Yeah? I'm excited. You're Tell excited. me what you think about it. Yeah, you can write in the comments what you think about um, Saudi in general, about uh, the ancient villages, if you've been living here or you just want to come, share your experience with us, it would be nice to... Yes, if you will come, you have a lot of friends here. Yeah, oh, everyone is waiting already. <laughs> yes. uh, and the Saudi people are very friendly. All right, very... so we continue with um, our English practice. A star is born. A star is born. <laughs> Maybe it's time to live your Why have you chosen this uh, movie? What was the reason? Um, because uh, I felt every... Uh, how can I say it? Every snap? Or every part of every it? Every part. I felt every part. I felt like them. Even when, when, any, when like Bradley Cooper looked 
at um, at Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, I feel <laughs> emotional. I was like, mm. Maybe it's time to let you always laugh. All the time. Oh, and when yeah. when uh, she cry, I cry. And when she get angry, I get angry. <laughs> and when she get excited, I get excited. And she when she get nervous before go the before entering the stage okay. i get nervous as well together with <laughs> oh, her like it, you like see it, how like emotional it. this lady I is i like it takes a lot to change man it takes a lot to try what is this story what the story tells us uh, about uh, lady gaga when she when bradley cooper helped her to become a great singer. singer. Baby, it's time to always die. So they, uh, he met her when he was already a very famous uh, yes. singer by yes. by himself, and she was just uh, the waitress who started to sing in the bar. Yes. Yes, and he met her and he fell in, in love, love with her. We all fell in love. No one knows what it is. And they started yeah, singing yeah. the songs and writing uh, together. Some folks just believe in the things they've heard and the things they read. And then she became very famous and he unfortunately. Yeah. He went down, yeah. This song actually uh, represents all the mood of the movie. I'm glad I came back to where I came from. And it's uh, also related to us because this song is about changes in our lives. Yes. Everyone is afraid of changes. Why? Because we don't know what to expect. When we lose our favorite people, yes, when we change the job, when we move to another country, uh, whatever changes we are facing, it's getting us scared. So this uh, song is about how to not to be scared and yes. to be ready for changes in our wow. life. Like I like your words. You like my words? I'm glad those days are gone, gone for good. We are going to listen to this song. I will try to make my best for you to listen to it first as long as possible. But if I could take spirits from my past and bring them here. And then we will uh, play a little uh, game for yes. you to to catch it. You know I would. You ready? Uh, you know I <laughs> Beautiful, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so this is the song. What did you catch from it? Uh, let's let's do lots of chains. Let's do uh, lots of try. Let yes, let's, yes. Or for good, he said. Yeah, yes. lots, lots of okay. words. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So but I think I understand what he wants to say. Okay, cool. So we understand the general me meaning and now we're gonna go sentence by sentence and yep. try to make it. When we are practicing our listening, I use uh, the program English Puzzle. It's not the paid promotion, guys. <laughs> it's just my favorite program. And uh, if you are a teacher and you're watching us and you use any other programs for your English lessons to have it nice and fun and interesting for the lessons, write in the comments. I will try them all and and also implement in my English lessons. We will, you know, practice those programs uh, together. These are the lyrics. So you will hear the word, you will see it, and then you will type yes. what is missing, which word actually is here. But before we are gonna do this, we will make uh, a little puzzle. Puzzle for me, I like puzzles. Yeah. Baby, it's time to let you always die. Baby, it's time to let you always die. Baby, it's 
system It will fit. Yeah. Good you job! Did you did the first did line. Design. It will be my song for one year. I will <laughs> every day sing, sing it. Good. Okay, sing it. So yes. how? Yes. Sing it. Sing it. Yeah. Sing it, Fatma. Oh, you sing can it. say sing it. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah. No, no. Every... Sing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. How do we spell? No. What is the word over here? Maybe. 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 Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Good job, we Maybe know time. <laughs> how we do time. Nice. Mm -hmm. Two ways. Have, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. You are amazing, <laughs> Fatma. Awesome, awesome job. Whatever, whatever was in the past, it, it happened, let it be there. In the past. Yes. So we yeah. are open for the new uh, challenges right okay we continue maybe it's time to let the old ways die, let the old ways die. takes a lot to change let the old ways die. Yes. Maybe it's time. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, to let uh, to, to let, let the old uh, the old way down. The old old ways. Way down. How do we spell die? Die. Good very nice i like the way you spell it okay we are moving to the next line yeah, yeah. takes a lot to change a man it takes a lot to try takes a lot to change a man it takes a lot to try takes lots with that takes a lot Takes a lot to change, man. It takes a lot to try. Takes a lot to change. Yes, 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 you're correct. It takes a lot to change, man. It takes a lot to try. Change a man. Yes, you're doing so good. Change a man. It takes a, a lot to change. A lot. Change, yes, how we spelled the word change? Change. Yes, it, it takes a, man. a lot to change, change a, man. a man. It takes a lot to try. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. So, mm -hmm. a lot means much. much. Yes, yeah, many, many things. Yeah. And it takes meaning like. Uh, how do we how can we explain it takes it's cost yes good job cost. it costs for you too much yeah. to do the changes yeah. right it costs i mean not only money, yeah, money yes yeah, but yeah. it costs feelings uh, you know, your efforts. Uh, efforts emotions yeah. everything it takes a lot to change man it takes a lot it takes a lot to change man it takes a lot to try No, 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 hell, hell in, yeah, in the first. Hell yes. in the first. Hell in the first. Because of the comma. Hell in the first. There you are. There you are. Yes. It takes. No, this is mm -hmm. a lot to draw. Why he puts this word hell in, in, the, in, uh, in this sentence? Because. It's like, like, like hell. It's like hell, that. It's, it's like, like oh my god, yeah, so oh much. God, yeah, yes, so it much. takes so hell. much. Like he wants to emphasize, like that's really hard. Takes a lot to try. Maybe it's time to let the old ways die. Maybe it's time. 
Did you like this song? I like it. Hell, I like it. <laughs> I use it. Hell, I like it. Wow, girl, you are amazing. Nobody knows what awaits for the day. Nobody knows what awaits for the day. For the dead. So, what he wants to say that nobody knows what will happen when you die. When you die, what what uh, what is uh, waiting for, for you over there? Yeah. That's why we have to take all the possible chances to all have the possible chances. I love you. <laughs> To, mm. to use all the possibilities we have in our life to make it nice, beautiful and happy today, right now. And not to be scared of um, changes. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody. Okay, nobody. Ah, the Y is already there, yeah? Yes. Nobody knows. Knows. Nobody knows. Yes, Nobody good job. So ways. the word no, we don't pronounce the letter K yes yeah. at the beginning. He repeats oh. this line again. Nobody knows what awaits for the day. Some folks just believe in the things they've heard and the things they read. Nobody knows what awaits for the day. Something is on. Still not like blue. Like. Still not blue. Hey. Yes. This one is not correct. I'm gonna. Some folks just believe in a thing they heard and think the red. Yes, good job. Ooh, finally, blue. finally, finally, blue. You put uh, after believe. You put end. end yes. So thing. we always say believe in believe in, in something. Yeah? yeah, in something in the things they've mm -hmm. heard and the things they've they read. read. Yeah. So the word they read. read. Yes, the they word read. Uh, no, not they read. They read because it's in the past. They so read. you remember there is um, irregular verbs. Uh, in grammar, uh, read, read, read. So the word read is spelled the same, no changes, yes. but we pronounce it different for the past 
tense yes so they've heard he uses present perfect tense which is uh, they have heard and the things heard. they hear it. why why here they they bought half and here they didn't okay how as i understand it so the present perfect tense shows us that the action started in the past but continue but st uh, it, it's uh, still until now until now so they it means heard. that they he, they will some who who are the fox by the way Fox, uh, some fox, some people. Yeah, yeah, fox, yeah. they are people, we call them people from villages, people from uh, suburbs around, yes? yes? Around people. He's saying that they believe in the things they've heard. It means they've heard them in the past and they still hear them today. Today, yeah. Yeah, and the things they read, he means they, they read, read in the past. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, because this is a past simple. So past simple means just happened there and halas. And halas. I mean, yeah, that's why this is the difference in grammar to understand when the action is taking place. Yeah. When? Okay, fox, is it good? Yes, it's say. a nice word. You can it's call not... everyone fox. Fox. Okay, good. It's because like... I will start to say fox. Yes. <laughs> From now on, I can say my fox in English. Yes, yes, of course, totally. Mm -hmm. It's totally correct. Uh, D with I. And L? What about L? Uh, like this. Ah, ah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. E, F, E, V. Okay, when we remove, you see, red. Red line. It means not correct. Mm -hmm. So, I sometimes me, also, there are two letters that I always mix. Uh, would I? E? No, no, no. E, I. E? No, there is actually not I. B, L. I V E. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I, okay, I yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I E. Let me try this. I E. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah, it's still red. So when we look, when we press on the right side, it will show us. Oh, I eat the correct. After yes, after I the always, L. I always, yeah, mix them. We write I, L, then I e, e V E E. e. Yes, yes. So oh, no, there is no we will remember <laughs> how this yes, word is spelled. Yes. <laughs> Next line. I'm glad I came back to where I came from. I'm glad I came back to where I came from. I'm glad those days to where I came from. Just for the day. I'm glad I came back to where I came from. Even me, well, I have a lot of things. I'm yeah. glad that I will never go back. To, this to those days, yeah. To those days. Okay. How do we spell the word I'm glad? I'm glad I can't go back to those days. Back. Back. Good. To where I came from. Came, yes. In, in the present, we say come, yes, with the letter come. O. It's spelled came. came in the past. Come, came. Yeah. Come, come to came, me. come, came, come, came. <laughs> okay. Next line. I'm glad those days are gone, gone for good. I'm glad those days are gone, gone for good. Oh, I like you. Me too. I'm glad. glad. I'm glad. This Back to where I came from. I'm glad those days are gone, gone for good. But if I could take. Uh huh, uh huh, there is R here. Back to where I came I'm glad from. this day is I'm R. glad those days are gone, gone for good. Gone for good. But if I could 
You love Bradley Cooper as much as Glad these days are gone, gone for good. <laughs> no, this is God. Uh, go, go, <laughs> okay, okay. How do we spell good? Good. No, yes, with double O, yeah? For good. If I could take spirits from my past and bring them here If I could take spirits from my past and bring them here You know I would I'm going to take I'm going for good But if I could take spirits from my past and bring them here You know I would Fast and bring it Who is the spirit that I will could not correct? Okay. If I could if take spirits from my past and bring them here, you know I would. Once again, but, but I. Okay. Gone for good. Yes. If I could take spirits from my past, spirits, what is that? Uh, it's like souls. Yes. Here we can understand it in two ways. He means people. So or he, energy, the or energy, the energy. Yeah. But if I could take take spirits from my my past, past, and bring them. Bring so we don't pronounce the letter G yeah. in the end. What is this bring apostrophe them. M? It's uh, it's like when uh, it's short. It's yeah. Short, so so they, short. Um, instead of saying them, yes, bring them. Bring them. Right. What's the spirit that you will, if you could, that you will would bring it from the past? For me, um, w when I love, um, when I love to write. You know, maybe one day you will write something in English, not only in yeah, Arabic. Yeah, it's in English. What I really yes. Wow, I, I was good in English, but you know, when I get um, when I get married, it's like. Two years, the first two years, I forget everything because I you not were talking busy, yeah. busy, and I'm not talking in English with anyone. Only yeah, yeah, that's so the I biggest problem. Really, I forget my English, <laughs> and now I'm like a small student, really. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, how you study English at school? Uh, I was, uh, I was the best student in my school. Wow. I well, you speak very nice. Yeah, you speak nice. very nice. Your English Thank is good you. and especially I see the way you write. You remember the Thank word. You. Guys, we meet a lot of uh, Arabs at work. Every day we meet like minimum 200 people, right? Yes. And you know how many of them speak English well? Not so many. Maybe yes. Maybe like 20-25% out of, those cr uh, of that crowd that can actually really speak. The rest, they just know simple basic phrases. Uh, that's why I think English now is very important in Saudi Arabia. A lot of schools are opening and they require teachers, I teachers, think. Yeah. Yes. At what age you started learning at school? Um, I think uh, 11. 11 years old? Yeah. And how? Three years then, three years in high school, then four years in college and class. So every day you had classes? Every day, yes. Now it was even from, uh, from KG, KG, KG. Yes, one, from KG kindergarten, two, yeah. yeah. I wish we could have the same in my country, Ukraine. You know how many times per week we have lessons? How many? Mostly it's two times per week, only imagine. And no movies in English, no TV shows in English, everything is translated. If you remove all translations from the movies and everything will go in English, in two, three years, all the kids will speak mwah, beautifully, yes. without any teachers. Even, you know, the same problem here. Everything translated, translated in, in Arabic. Arabic yes. Yes. At the beginning, it's a little bit hard. But then you get but used day to by it. Day, yes, guess. you get used to it, and your mind catches the words and and the meaning by itself. So don't yeah. underestimate your brain, guys. Just start watching everything in English. Change your phones in English language. Change your computer. My phone in, in Arabic. I will ah, change. It. I will change. It. You will see in a few months how uh, your vocabulary is gonna be enlarged. How how many words you will remember. 
because you will see it every day and using and using all the time here we have an amazing uh, grammar point but if i could take spirits you know i would what is this could would where it came from why it's like this in this yes. sentence grammar topic is called conditionals conditionals what is uh, conditionals it's unreal situation unreal the yes. action didn't happen it's yes. unreal it's yes. like uh, if something happens yes, yes. this happen this will happen yeah, yeah. this is, is my favorite online. uh one of my favorites actually the website for the english grammar uh very easy explained very nice exercises and uh exercises for different levels here you will see all the grammar topics conditional clauses if they call uh, if clauses what's clauses um close it's a part of a sentence today we're gonna focus on type two how it's uh, formed if yeah. plus simple past how do we use verbs in the past irregular verbs that uh, change their forms yes okay. and the only thing for us to know them is just to remember them the rest of the words they just add ending ed e in the right. end this is the symbol the, yes they are called regular words regular, regular so regular, regular, e regular e irregular irregular and change the form the if clause it goes in the past tense the main clause of the sentence goes with wood so the wood it will be in every sentence as yes. a second part if i would play or played 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 because if it's I in the played, if i played the lottery i i would have a chance yes i would have i would have no, a chance i would have a chance, a chance to, hit to hit the jackpot. jackpot and again i, I write it sure if, if I, I hit yes it's the second form yes the, jo oh, sorry, the jackpot sorry. the jackpot i'd be rich wow yes. i like it <laughs> mm, i like it i like it i, I like it already the beginning of the exercise <laughs> yes if I, I, I if i reach if i were rich yes if i were rich my life would change Completely. completely i would buy a lonely island if okay i would buy yes a if lonely i found a nice one mm -hmm. i'm here uh -huh. <laughs> find me yes <laughs> if i on on owned yes if i owned if I was a the lonely owner, island yes. I, I would build a huge house by, by the, the beach. beach. Take me with you. <laughs> sure. Okay, let's go here. Six. Um, I would invite all my friends if I had a house by the beach. Mm -hmm. Good job. I would pick my friends up in my yacht yet. it's a boat yacht. yeah it's a boat yeah my yacht why see it sign uh, it's just like that my yacht if they wanted to be to spend, to spend their, their holidays, holidays on, on my, my island, island. <laughs> 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 we would have great pa parties pa parties if my friends came yes. to my island you know this island <laughs> what an island <laughs> <laughs> if, we if we like to go shopping uh, in a big city we would charter yeah a, a helicopter but if my friends holidays were over were over mm -hmm. i would feel very lonely 
on my lonely, lonely island. <laughs> so you see, even if you have a lot of money and you buy the mm -hmm. island, you still need friends with you. You need someone yeah. to share your happiness. Yes? yes. Okay. Let's check if we are correct. So we press check answers. Good job, woman. Great. All answers are correct. Yeah. So yes. you can make your own example. If I still leave, leave. Um, okay. Can I say if I still live in Visha? Can I say that? Yeah, but in the past. How to say the word live in the past? Lived. Lived, yes. If I still lived in, in Bisha, okay. I would make Bisha a good... An amazing uh, place. An amazing distance for the tourism. Uh, destination. Destination, yeah, destination yeah, yeah. yes. No! It's okay, it's <laughs> fine, we learned. <laughs> We learn, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. My love, <laughs> it was a pleasure to have you in my English practice. Mm -hmm. Guys, I hope you enjoyed with us our... Um... Yes, you are. Say yes. <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> okay. If you like the video, you can put the like, you can subscribe to our channel. Yes. And uh, uh, see what's coming next. We are having a lot of amazing movies and songs. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, beautiful people in my English practice with their own knowledge levels pronunciation everything same people like you are so feel free to join us and learn uh, the English grammar the English vocabulary with beautiful songs and movies goodbye and have a good day Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> oh, thank you baby Do we finish <laughs> do you write songs or anything I don't sing my own songs. Why? I just don't feel comfortable. Why wouldn't you feel comfortable?